How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today we're celebrating my 1,000th video. Uh, I have 1,000 videos on YouTube now, 84,000 subscribers. Seven years ago I started this channel and you know what? I was surprised that I could get one person to watch my videos. And uh, it's pretty amazing to uh, have the support that I do on YouTube, it's really great. Uh, I started about seven years ago. Uh, February 7th, 2015, I started making videos. Uh, not knowing exactly what I'm doing, if you go back and you watch some of the first videos that I made on YouTube, they're pretty rough. Uh, and the very first one, that little net here, flying around. Uh, uh, but anyhow, the very first one, was uh, I had built a forge and a uh, uh, little forge to, to you know heat up metal and uh, and I'm doing this forge and I got so much noise in the background you can't even hardly hear what I'm talking about in the video but you know what it, it's one of my better videos it gets a good bit of hits um, people must like it because they watch a lot of it but, uh, you know, I started the channel thinking that I could help somebody else. Um, and little did anybody know, it was helping me too because, you know, it was keeping my mind busy. At the time, I had a lot of anxiety and stress. And uh, this is one way of me relieving that anxiety and stress. It was making videos. And keeping your mind busy is a big thing. Uh, with me, that's why my channel doesn't have an actual name to it because uh, I like to do a little bit of everything. It's not just one thing I like to do. I like to do everything. It's hard to come up with a name when your channel is not about one specific thing. You know, my channel is about everything. Um, basically, my life in general. Um, I like uh, just... I think my mind's a little screwed up because I like to go everywhere. I like to do everything, just a little bit of everything. But the channel has been really good to me. Um, I have met so many nice people on YouTube. I have the probably the biggest family that uh, a man could ever want on YouTube. My friends, I call you guys my family. Uh, that's just how it is. Um, you guys have treated me good. You've been there for me uh, all the time. And there's guys out there that watched my videos that I know you don't like every one of them videos. I, I know that. And I do appreciate your support in watching them. You know, you have your regulars to come in and watch all your videos. And they don't care what you're making. They don't care. They just want to watch your videos. And those are the guys, man... I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me and uh, and going through all the things that I did. Um, even the Flashback Friday videos. I know you all seen them, Flashback Friday videos, but I wanted to move them over to another channel. I wanted to get them on this channel because they weren't doing any good on the other channel. I only have a few more of them to put on there, and then they'll be done, and then I'll be on to something else uh, after that. So... Back to the YouTube family. Uh, I have a lot of YouTubers out there that actually, they make videos. Uh, not everybody on there commenting on my videos uh, don't make videos, uh, but they do make videos. And there's one in particular I'd like to bring up his name. Uh, his name's Chad, and he has the channel called The Clueless Dad. And... Uh, he does a lot of videos. He's just started the channel. Uh, here, he's brand new to the YouTube. Uh, he just started the uh, channel, and he's making videos. Most of his videos are on Kubota tractors. He's bringing to you all the latest models and uh, the makes, different ones, and letting you know what you might need for what tractor and that type of stuff. And he's he's doing really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave. Um, a little tag up here you can see right here one will pop up there that will be the one of his videos if you want go over there and check out his channel I think he's doing really good but he's in the same situation I was seven years ago 
He's just getting started. He loves what he's doing. And uh, I think he's going to go places too. Now, back to when I first started making the videos. Uh, honestly, I never even monetized my uh, channel for over a year. I didn't know that a person could actually make money from making them videos. I didn't know that a person can actually make money for something they love doing. And I really love making YouTube videos. So, getting a little bit of money from the revenue uh, from the uh, ads that go on YouTube is a blessing. Uh, Julie and I have really appreciated that and that's helped us out a lot. And then the people using my Amazon channel or my Amazon link. And I always leave, try to leave a link in the, in the description down below. That way, if somebody wants to shop on there, just click on the link. You don't have to buy what's in the link. Whatever you search in that bar, I get a small commission. And that, and that helps, too. I would like to tell everyone, thanks for donating uh, to the uh, channel uh, through the PayPal. I have a, in the description, I have that little PayPal uh, donation button down there. I would like to tell everyone thanks for uh, using that because uh, I use that money towards camera equipment, maybe lenses, and I go through the lenses on these cameras because when I'm welding, normally I'm trying to get up close shots so you can see what I'm doing, and then little sparks want to come up and touch that screen, or they touch that lens, and then it kind of screws it up. So um, that helps out a lot, those donations. I use that basically only for cameras, lenses, computers, and software so I can uh, do the videos, which is a big help. And for everyone who have used that button down there and donated, thank you guys very much for your support. The main thing was is that we got up to a thousand videos. My next goal is to get another thousand videos. Uh, if I can get another thousand videos, I'd be happy. Uh, some of the videos that we made, that, that I made, one in particular I can remember is where I'm working on a, a vent-free gas heater. Um, I posted that video, it's, oh, it's been quite a few years ago, and uh, I remember getting a comment from an 82-year-old lady telling me that uh, she had fixed her gas heater by going through, going step by step on how I did the video and uh, she was so tickled that she didn't have to call in uh, a furnace man and uh, pay to have that heater fixed. She didn't have the money. She was on a fixed income and a lot of people that are going through YouTube, that's what they're doing. You know, we can't afford all the high prices of what people charge to fix things. And uh, I'm really glad to hear that I was able to help somebody out with one of my videos. That really makes me feel good inside. That's, that's the biggest payment of all. I've had a lot of young people do the same thing. Go through the video and fix their heater just by watching my video. And uh, that makes you proud. It really does. Uh, to be able to help other people. So... Um, I would like to tell everyone, thank you for watching all of my videos. There's a little bell, and I never bring it up in my videos, but if you subscribe, hit the little bell over there. That gives you a warning when one of my videos pop up, which is nice if you want to watch it. And I always say at the end of every video, give me thumbs up or thumbs down. I prefer the thumbs up, but the thumbs down is okay too, because that's your opinion. If it's a good video, give me a thumbs up. If you think it's a bad video, give me that thumbs down. It's fine with me. It doesn't bother me. And if you have a comment, you, you want to give me a good comment, I enjoy the good comments. If you want to give me a bad comment, that's okay too. If I can answer that comment, I will. Um, that's just the way I am. If I did something wrong, I'll apologize for it. I'm a man, I'll stand up for it. So that all being said, I would like to tell everyone, 
Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the little bell. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Until next time.